it really started getting cold in the last few days so last weekend i finally switched out my summer wardrobe to my fall and winter wardrobe so in this video today i want to show you guys what i have in my winter closet and also how i switched out my wardrobes from summer to winter in less than an hour i want to show you how through this process i save a lot of money you know black friday and boxing day are soon coming up and it's so easy to get caught up in a shopping frenzy and buy more than you actually need when you don't have a plan so guys, let me take you through my simple three-step process of switching out my wardrobe from summer to winter. Step number one is taking stock. We live in a studio apartment, we don't have a lot of space, so all of our clothes, my husband's and my clothing, are in this closet. My winter stuff, by the way, is in a suitcase, which I will show you later. First of all, I will remove all the clothes and just put everything, lay everything out on the bed so I can see everything I've got. So in a bit, I'm gonna sort through everything and divide my clothes into what I want to continue to use in the winter, what to pack away, and also what to throw away or possibly donate. So over here, you see I've got a bag for donations. I've already collected some stuff and uh, more items will follow. So step number one was pretty fast. Now step number two is sorting. Now here I simply go through all of my items and see what I want to continue wearing in the winter. For example, these pair of jeans versus what to stash away uh, for example this dress here it's a pretty dress but it's quite thin and short i wouldn't wear it in the winter so let's stash this away i'm just gonna fold it up and place it on this chair over here next up i got some dresses and uh, most likely i won't be wearing a lot of dresses in the winter but there's the occasional party or going out to somewhere fancy so i still want to keep some dresses in my closet handy next up are shirts and some thin sweaters uh, i can still use these in the winter so all you gotta do to wear shirts in the winter is actually um, wear some thermal wear inner wear beneath them now here we got a crop top i loved wearing this in the summer but definitely not in the winter so let's also put that away t-shirts i do wear t-shirts in the winter but this one is just too cropped so put that away as well i gotta admit that i'm tired of this blouse i very rarely wear it so i'm just gonna put this in the donation bag next up another crop top stash it away and the same thing with these tank tops here but I do try to keep out some of the longer tank tops because they work very well for layering. A super old but very cozy t-shirt, so that's a keep. Uh, I never wear this one here. I mostly keep all of my long sleeve tops out. They're perfect for the winter. And this, by the way, is the thermal wear I've been talking about. This is from Uniqlo and I have more of this inner wear. I will show it to you in more detail later. And yes, I'll also keep the sweaters out and also this flannel shirt. This is really nice to wear in the winter. I love this one. This is also from Uniqlo, by the way. Okay, dresses now. Okay, this one I could wear in the winter, but I just feel it's more of a summer dress, so stash that away. Okay, we're getting there, guys. Here I've got a bunch of dresses, summer dresses, and I'm only gonna keep one or two of them out. So this one, I think the color is perfect for the fall and I can wear it with some tights. Same thing with this one. This purple dress here is actually perfect for the fall if I wear them with tights. I actually did exactly that last weekend. Here I am with that purple dress and tights. And by the way, guys, I just got this beautiful leather handbag sent to me by Teddy Blake. It came in this solid box uh, inside a dust bag and there it is. I picked the Ava Gold 9 inches in camel brown and by the way it comes in different colors and also sizes and they're all so beautiful and I had such a hard time picking. And it smells so good by the way, you can really smell the leather. Teddy Blake bags by the way are made in Italy, they are designed by Italian designers and their goal is simply to make luxury bags that are more affordable. And it's really the perfect bag for me. I'm just loving the size. So it has this soft suede interior here. It fits my sunglasses here, a foldable bag, my wallet, my phone, even my Kindle, keys, a lip gloss here, and my Presto card for the subway. So the quality is really good, guys. So I really recommend it either for yourself or it would be the perfect gift for a friend or a loved one. So to check out Teddy Blake's beautiful collection, head down to the descriptions and click on my affiliate link. I also got a special discount code for you guys to get $30 off your Teddy Blake bag, which is TB Living in Canada 30. 
So thank you Teddy Blake for sponsoring this video. So let's continue. Here are the bottoms, some joggers, sweatpants, these shorts here, uh, definitely stash away for next summer. Uh, these pants, they're really thin, also stash away and jeans so jeans are great for the winter i wear them just like that or sometimes with leggings or uh stockings underneath but as you can see i have so many of them these are all great but i will try to um maybe donate one pair so these two they have a very similar color but one is more comfortable and this pair i rarely wear so i will put this in the donation bag um these other jeans I love. Okay, and some skirts. And by the way, guys, yes, even in Toronto in the cold winter, you can still wear skirts as long as you have the right tights or the right stockings or leggings. So this wool skirt is perfect for the winter. This thin one not, so stash away. Okay, this is home lounge and sleepwear. A lot to sort here. So I, I'm really trying to get rid of the really old stuff or clothing that has holes in it. So this thin t-shirt, it's a bit see-through and too thin for the winter. I will put this away. Oh, I love this t-shirt, although it's so old, I'll keep it. So I think I don't have that many t-shirts to wear at home and to sleep. So I think, yes, I can buy one or two more t-shirts this winter. So here are the summer clothes I've accumulated so far. These will later go in my suitcase. And here's my donation bag, it's getting heavy. Quick break. Continuing here, we also have some um, accessories, a hat and a bag that I use in the summer. So I will also put this away. And we're done with the sorting, part one. So guys, so far, saving tip number one is to take stock of the clothing that you already have so you can assess whether or not you need to buy any more clothing items in that same category. And saving tip number two is that every time at the beginning of a new season, I open my suitcase and I'm surprised at what lovely things I actually had in there. Whereas um, just maybe six or eight months ago, I got so bored of those same clothing items. Having the sense of, okay, I have so many um, seemingly new clothing items. I perhaps don't need to go out and shop that much. Okay, step number three is unpacking my winter clothing or what I call the treasure box session. So this suitcase over here is my husband's. This is my huge suitcase with my winter stuff. So let's open this. So to continue saving tip number two, I just talked about end of last winter or fall, I stashed away all my winter clothing and kind of forgot about all the clothes that I had in here. So now opening my suitcase again, it kind of feels as though I have new clothing items. It kind of feels exciting, I must say. So my winter clothes, let's take these out and then sort them and then put the summer clothes in here. My black turtleneck, very warm. Let's see what else we have. Pair of joggers or sweatpants, also perfect for the fall and winter. And a bunch of sweaters and hoodies. Okay, I got several hoodies here and I must say that a while ago I almost thought of buying a new hoodie, but then actually looking at the hoodies I have, perhaps I have enough and can skip that. So over here we got all my thermal wear I've been talking about and these are all from Uniqlo and they come in different colors and shapes. So this one is a scoop neck in uh, like a brownish gray color. Uh, this is a nude color fits very well under white clothing. This one is an extra warm one, gray, very neutral, very, very useful. So this is an olive colored one, also an extra warm with a crew neck. This is a black one. This is regular, so not extra warm. And this is very, very versatile. You can wear it under clothing, but it also looks good just worn like that. So in total, I think I have maybe six or yeah, uh, six pieces of inner wear. <sighs> Should I buy another one? Let's see, maybe if they're on sale. Saving tip number three is to come up with a targeted winter shopping list. You can kind of limit your purchases. So instead of ending up spending, let's say $800 or $1,000 in a winter, you spend just let's say 200 or $300 at the most. Another sweater, old sweater, which I really love. Let's check in the mirror and see if it still suits me. And my bathrobe. Oh, you know, guys, in the winter, it's so nice to have a bathrobe. So after you take a hot shower, you can just cozy up in your bathrobe. So this is my winter jacket. If you guys want to know what winter jacket I wear, this one has down feathers. It's from the brand Loli. It's a Canadian brand and it's super light. It's compact. That's what I really love. But it's warm at the same time. And it has this wonderful 
hood here as well i really recommend that brand by the way it's really high quality and uh like military style bomber jacket this is not that warm but i can still wear it in the fall and this yellow down feather uh jacket from mango <laughs> you know guys year after year i thought of donating it because i didn't really like it because it was so puffy but in the end i kept wearing it simply because it was so warm and the color is actually quite nice it's so nice and bright and it has this uh, hood with a huge fur lining that keeps the snow out of my face so yeah maybe i'll just keep it and should i buy a new winter jacket this year i was thinking about it but now that i look at my winter jackets perhaps i can wait another year maybe i can save myself a ton of money by waiting until next year to buy another winter jacket and some hats okay i only have two hats and i'm not that crazy about them so yes i will probably buy another hat stockings okay stockings uh thinner stockings thicker wool stockings these are very useful for wearing skirts in the winter but you can also wear them under your jeans okay more joggers and sweatpants i didn't remember that i had so many so i have like four or five sweatpants so perhaps not buy another pair and they're still in pretty good condition i mean i just wear them at home so and this bandeau here this also keeps my ears warm in the winter socks okay winter socks very important these socks are from colombia and they're super warm they have fleece inside they are really the perfect socks but I do think I need to buy more because I kind of lost some socks and some got holes in them. So yes, um, maybe anywhere from two to four more pairs of winter socks and gloves. So I like these ones. These ones have open fingers, which makes it very easy to use my phone. These are super warm, but kind of bulky. And these are my favorite winter gloves. They're from North Face. They're called, I think, re recycled e-tips. So I really recommend these gloves here because they they're lightweight and it's really easy to move in them and you can also use your phone and my koala slippers <laughs> i got them from hollister aren't they cute so these really keep my feet warm in the winter and a winter uh, a fleece blanket so this is just a blanket to chill out on the sofa and in return i will pack this thinner summer blanket now we're getting to the shoes winter shoes so these are my winter boots from rockport they're very very great and warm and these are my winter boots from Colombia so these are really my go-to boots in the winter when there's a lot of mud and slush and when it's snowing so these sandals um, I think it's a bit unlikely I'll be wearing them maybe I'll keep one pair out in case I go to a party or so but I will um, stash most of them away for next summer now we're kind of done with the sorting and I'm just gonna organize everything into my closet and since as you can see I don't have much clothing really I don't have much especially uh, as a girl as a woman it takes very very little time so I'm just gonna put all of this away so as you can see, my suitcase is empty now and I'm gonna stash all of my summer and spring clothes away here. Uh, a few jackets will follow. There are some jackets I still need to put in there, so there's still plenty of space. But for now, I'll just shut my suitcase and put it away back under my bed. Yes, it actually fits under my bed. And here's the donation bag, so I filled it up pretty nicely. So this is the final result, guys. Um, our closet that my husband and I share. My stuff, my clothing is partially hung on the right side here of the closet. I also have stuff on the left side here and just these two compartments. So this is all the clothing that I have, um, except for underwear, of course, and socks and jackets. Um, I have my socks and jackets in the front closet, but apart from that, this is pretty much all the clothing I have. So guys, after this whole sorting process, I came up with my own shopping list. And of course, I'm not going to stick to it 100%. Here are some of the things I put on my shopping list. So guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you think it's time for you to have a new handbag or you want to gift it to someone else, make sure that you check out Teddy Blake's fabulous leather bags. And for that, check out the link in the descriptions below. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you pretty soon in the next video. Bye.